Hi everybody, it's Dr. Physics today and I'm going to be talking about GCSE Physics Higher Tier, the advanced material for the 2022 exams. So what have AQA said? Well, AQA have sent out some information to your teachers and it says this, the format and, format and structure of the papers remains unchanged. So they're exactly the same as previous uh, papers. So the same kind of examined components. Um, each paper list shows the major focus of the content. So major focus of the content will be shown. Um, but also remember, you will be tested on what we call lower tariff items as well. OK, so it also tells you which required practical practical activities will be assessed. It also tells you topics not assessed either directly or through linked content. So what that means is linked to other parts of questions. So. Um, it's presented in specification order, and I'll tell you what that means in a minute. And also they're going to assess all the practical skills. Your math skills are in there, working scientifically. And it says it is not permitted to take this advanced information into the exam. But I ask, why would you? So, um, obviously your teachers will have taught you pretty much the whole of physics. Um, and also... Uh, you still need to learn those things that are low tariff questions. So the lower mark questions, but they are going to be really important that you understand them. So um, they bring together knowledge, skills and understanding. So you get linked questions, sorry, from across the spec. So students still will be expected to apply their knowledge. Right. OK, so this is a spec specification code. So what you would do is you can use that address to go through to AQA, so or you just put it in Google search, AQA GCSE Physics, and you'll get the specification. So this is kind of like the teacher Bible. It tells the teachers what to teach you, but you can use it too as well for your um, revision. So here's the subject content. So all the physics items, and you can see they've given it a number. That number is the spec code. So for example, here, 4.1 energy, and then you've got it into a subunit of 4.1.1. And then we've got other subunits within energy changes and so forth and so on. OK, so let us go on. OK, let us talk about what is happening in physics. So physics paper one, you can see there's a very much a focus on energy and you can see the focus on particle model of matter. There is a lot in paper one missing of atomic structure. So you only really need to know about atoms and nuclear radiation. Um, but you can see for the top one, energy, it's going to be a major focus on energy changes, conservation, dissipation of energy, and particularly the required practical two of insulation. Electricity, there'll be nothing on the first three things, but there will be something on energy transfers and possibly static electricity. Saying that, I think you probably would need to know something about those as well uh, related to electricity anyway. Um, so particle models, changes of state and particle models, internal energy and energy transfers and the density required practical. Nothing on particle model and pressure. Paper two, as you can see, there's a real, really strong major focus on forces. Pretty much everything in forces is going to be um, a major focus, except moments, levers and gears, which is a shame. Um, also, forces and motion. Just be careful because it just mentions describing motion along a line as a major focus. I know that's quite a big section of work, so that's just a part of that section. Waves as well, you can see that the reflection and refraction require practical. In fact, it's the only examined required practical in the whole of paper two. There'd be nothing on electromagnetic waves, which is a shame. Nothing on black body radiation and then magnetism. Nothing on permanent and induced magnetism, magnetic forces and fields. But you could be asked something about the motor effect. So uh, probably you're gonna need to know about, a bit about magnetism there anyway. Space physics as well is a very strong um, area. So solar system, orbital motions, redshift, things like that. So 
The key thing is you will get a revised equation sheet. So it covers all the equations that will be needed. They've taken out the equations you won't need. OK, so you'll be given that for use in the exam, which is good news. So some takeaway advice. So this takeaway advice is from a blog post from um, a physics blog teaching post. They're saying learn the key terms. I think that's important for all of science. Don't forget the lower tariff marks. So don't forget to revise the other areas. While some topics have been omitted, there's still a quite a lot of content that will be used in lower tariff or linked questions. Um, information regarding paper one suggests the main focus will be energy changes and calculations involved with energy transfers. Paper two suggests a strong focus on forces and space physics. Um, this just a little point they've made about the 4.2.4 energy transfers and energy using charge, potential difference and current is assessed. However, um, it's saying the other parts of it are not assessed. The question to ask is whether or not this information is essential to being able to interpret questions that deal with these concepts. So it's probably useful just having a background knowledge in that area. OK, so I hope that's helped you. Um, work out what's going to be in your GCSE physics higher tier exams. I wish you all the best of luck um, and I'll see you soon.